on the 6th of December 2023, one of my dearest and closest friends was assassinated, Dr. Rifat Al Alir. Um, he was assassinated for being a poet, for being an inspiration, for being a professor, for, for being a light. I guess one of the reasons he was such a close friend, although I've, I've only known him for 11, 12 years, and not since childhood, but our connection was a connection which I felt that was like, like a connection you have as a child. As when I first, my first contact with him, um, when we were speaking through the night and you know exchanging stories and, and passions and we did not actually I, I didn't know how he looks like he didn't know how I look like he didn't even know my gender um, our connection was because of our passion for Shakespeare because of our passion for puns so it was really a connection of souls as you do when you're a child, you know, you connect to someone because there is this soul connection and not because of exterior things or where you come from or what you do. Um, after his assassination, <laughs> I was expecting myself to write about him, to do things. I did things, I did films, I did... Um, all sorts of talks at the university but I didn't write instead I would wake up every morning and, and stare at open whatsapp and stare at the last message uh, expecting the two lines to arrive the one line to turn into two lines which is what I was doing um, the first weeks of the massacre the first weeks of the genocide as he would write every day but sometimes he would vanish for days and and seeing the two lines at least I knew that oh he got internet for a second and but the writing didn't come and a friend of mine said about the genocide in Gaza what can we do short or of burning ourselves so I'm, I'm not going to burn myself at least not now but I am going to put my my body on the line and on the 29th or 28th mm -hmm. night of June I'm going to start a, a total fast of 11 days a fast with no neither water no food and and saying that, I am not actually putting my life on the line because I am accompanied by two doctors, two specialists in fasting and diet and uh, people with... <laughs> together I think they have about 90 years of experience with that. So I'm really, I'm really privileged to, to be able to do that in, in such a supportive and safe environment without any stress knowing that I will have pure water when when I finish the fast um, and I will try to send videos every day to raise awareness maybe to speak a bit about people we know and people we love uh, events water Food, genocide, anything you want to ask, you can of course send questions and ask. One, another of my privileges is the fact that that I can disconnect myself from, you know reading commands, reading negative commands, um, 
so that will go through friends and that will send me the important things that they think I should know which is you know basically which friend was killed and which massacre had happened in a summarized version which is uh, of course a privilege that people in, in Gaza do not have um, and I call any of you that, that want to join us put in our bodies on the line to, to join us in the fast um, I do ask you not to endanger yourself so don't do a dry fast like I do by depriving yourself of water as I said I have two doctors following me and years of experience that is you know, that is not my first fast um, first dry fast so please don't do that unless you know what you're doing um, of course you can you can join us in a dry, <coughs> in a dry fast uh, during the day like one does in a Ramadan or um, a short period of time or join us for a water fast when you're drinking or just just with your heart your support let us together try to try to stop this genocide stop turning our back on our friends on humanity and, and make a difference it is now as well the time of elections in the UK um, the time of elections in the United States soon. and it's the time to raise our voices the West is is killing us and that has to end and it has to end now <laughs>